and please, please, if you ever find yourself talking to a friend and you know he like big girls and you know he cute like you can really stand up for him and be like my friend cute but in the secrets y'all know he ugly because you know that's just your friend but for real for real he like mad cute and he at least like five eight or whatever show him my video like i look cute right here there's a bunch of other videos where i look really cute you can show him the little makeup videos i did for valentine's day um just fast forward to the last look all the way to the end I look really cute then. Um, you did like in the beginning videos where I had like little faux locks. You could show show those. Like, you can really help assist out. You know what I'm saying? Be my love app. Be my love connection. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that'd be a really good idea. If one of my subscribers set me up on a date. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? It's your girl Candace here from Slice and Giggles here to give you the 411 on online dating and a little bit more. And you know it's me, your girl Candy. And I know, guys, it's been a while since I put out a actual video. I did go live on my YouTube channel maybe a couple of days ago about this whole Khloe Kardashian and Jordan Woods and Tristan third trimester Thompson thing. But I was like, I can't miss the timing and the opportunity to talk about it. You know, I might gain some new subscribers. And also, you guys probably want to hear what I have to say about it. So I just wanted to do like an impromptu live video. And if you watched it, you watched it. If you didn't, please go watch that live video. I missed you guys so much. Oh, it feels so good to like talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though you kind of can't like, commute back it's just nice to know like you guys are gonna watch this and you're gonna be like oh wow candace is back and i'm like yeah i'm here thanks i appreciate you anyways um today i wanted to have a good topic of discussion in the vault on the vault the podcast that i have um i always have questions with chase if you don't know what chase is it's my name it's the first initial of my name which is c because obviously my name is candace and my last name which is hayes so put together is chase and my slogan is always no matter if you say chase or c hayes it doesn't matter as long as the flavor is in your mouth because it's true as long as i'm talked about that's all that matters um but i always ask questions with chase and it's always about sexual or um relationship questions just because that's something that i like to in indulge in because I feel like um relationship and sex are like two topics that you can never stop talking about because there's always new development new developments there's new thoughts there's new you know just everything that comes with being in a relationship you might be I am the one, the one, your son don't need the but yeah so like you could be in a new situation ship or a new relationship and you might not have to deal with the same things you did with your past relationship and stuff for this video I thought it would be fun to talk about me, but to talk about future me, if that makes sense. Future me, I would like to talk to her and tell her, girl, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna meet your baby daddy someday. He ain't gonna be really your baby daddy. He can be your baby husband, but you know, you, you, you know, yo, he gonna be your husband, but he gonna be your baby daddy on play play days. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just let the, let her know, like, it's okay right now. If you don't have somebody, you'll find somebody. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week. But not today, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause sometimes I feel like, especially with our age round like i'm 26 years old i'm turning 27 in july scary sometimes i just feel like i'm not gonna meet that person and it sucks to feel like that um especially because i'm so young and to the older people i haven't even experienced life yet okay like for example i get dudes who hit me up on snapchat a lot or who slide in my dms on like you know instagram or on you know the dating sites that i'm obviously on and majority of them are not cute and i'm not saying not cute like they're completely and dusty and ugly they're not cute for me they might be cute for you like that outfit might be really good on you baby girl but it ain't good for me you know what i'm saying um 
And if not, and if they are somewhat attractive or just attractive in general, then they're coming out their mouth like, yo, you trying to give me some head, yo, I'm trying to get some top, like, you trying to meet up for some sex, dog, like, we can really get it popping, like. Granted, please be honest. Let me know a beginning that, so I'm not wasting none of my time that you're only here to get the cheeks. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you for so much for asking me for it because there's a lot of dudes out there who would be trickery and take it from me without my permission but no i'm sorry i don't want it thanks now there are some females who want that and they'll go ahead and have their fun with little john and do whatever they want to do but i personally am not one of those females wouldn't it be a great thing to contact some people that i've dated before you know or who are my exes and to find out what could i have been or done better in that relationship or um did i do too much of this and not enough of this um and also what advice would you give me in my next adventure with uh, another gentleman in my life i only heard back from a few I don't have video and I don't want to like screenshot, you know what I'm saying? Because that's messy. Anyway, which way, I, the ex that I had throughout college, okay? Um, I talked to him and you know what's crazy is my friend, when I told her I was going to do this, she was like, this is kind of messy, Candace. Like, you don't think her, like his girl's going to get mad if she sees this and like, da -da -da -da. I'm grown. I can talk to whoever I want to talk to. If they choose to talk back to me, they choose to talk back to me. And if they got to hide stuff from people, then that's their business. I don't care. I asked him, what do you think I could have done better in our relationship? Or what do you think I could have done less of? Or what's your advice going into my next um, relationship? So he basically said that I needed to be more confident to love myself more other than that, I'm simply perfect. I'm amazing. So there's that. Then there's the ex that I've, that's been in my life since I was 13. Um, and he really never talks. So it's like pulling teeth to get him to say anything. Um, but I'm just going to round up <laughs> in a ball of the basics that he says. And it's basically the same thing that like my first ex says is like, you know, be more confident in yourself and um, stop worrying about stuff that shouldn't be worried about. And um, I'm not trying to put words in his mouth. What else does this boy say? He always pursues me to like, do what I want to do. Go after what you want to go after because you're not going to get this chance again. So, you know that the guy who i'm currently talking to i asked him like you know what do you think i could do better you know and just talking to me and just us having conversations with each other you know what do you think of me and like you know do you not like this about me what's this what's that and he was just like there's nothing wrong with you and i'm like boy ain't nobody in the world perfect and he's like yeah but you are and i'm like Y'all know I was, like, out here feeling myself like my stuff. Mm, I'm perfect. Peasants move. <laughs> I'm perfect. So basically, after talking to all of them, I've put together that I need to work on my confidence and I need to work on loving myself more. But anyways, the only thing I don't love is my tummy tummy and my arms who fly like beautiful butterflies in the nighttime sky. The difference between people who you know and people who love you to a person who you've been with intimately giving you what you need to hear. Because a friend of mine can say, you the bomb, you the best bitch, you bitch, you, you just that bitch. But to hear from somebody who's you've been intimate with um physically and just emotionally um of who you are and what you mean to them i don't know how i'm gonna take that into my next relationship i kind of have to get there first you know what i'm saying like i'm not even talking to nobody right now like i am but i'm not i am but in this state so i need to find a person locally if you would like to make a video with me and set me up on a 
knowingly knowing that person blind date um and you live in the Massachusetts area let's let's do this let's get it together let's try this I think this will be really fun like one of my subscribers set me up on a date Anyway, Trace guys, thank you so much for uh, listening to my video and watching it. I really appreciate it. And I will see you babies later. And until next time, it was nice swiping with you. You're going to watch this button pop up and not hit subscribe. Like, that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to see this video. You're going to see this video as a promo. You're not going to click it and watch it. That's crazy. I really think you need to be subscribing and watching. Swatching. Just click this button. This button I'd like you to click. Just this. This subscribe one. You see it? You you see it. <laughs> you see. You see. You know you see this button. You better click this button.